Hello, my name is Dennis, and I'm a software engineer at Tela Rochit. Welcome to our video on PyTS CLI usage instructions. In this video, we will focus on how on the three most commonly used PyTS commands. Let's start with the PyTS version command. If a command is valid but requires additional parameter, it will provide guidance on how to use it. Specifically, we will explore the chat and update sub command. First, we will check the version of our current PyTS installation. On executing the command, we can assert that our PyTS and its buckets are currently on version 23.9. Now, let's the PyTS to a latest version using the PyTS version update command. This command will fetch the latest version and will give us an option to install that version. Here I am currently at the latest version, so I will skip this update step. Let's proceed by creating a project using the PyTS create command. This command offers four subcommands create parser, create project, create setbed, and create chenny trigger. In our case, we will create a new project. Let's name it test project. Let's keep the test case setup step. And we not use a data file. After creating the project, let's send in its structure. It consists of a script file where we will write our test script as well as a job file to execute the test. Additionally, there is another way to create a project more efficiently by adding specific options. In this sample, we also have two Python files, and now we are data file too. Finally, we will attempt to run the PyATS job file. I have directed a set of sample from the PyATS documentation, which you can access by visiting the PyATS getting started link and clicking on the sample repository. Let's blow the basic sample file and run it. Within the file, we can insert a common setup session to symbol test case. Unintentionally fail test case and a common setup session. Now let's try to run this shop file. I need to change the directory to the assemble directory. Now try to run the job file using by the run job command. Oh, 
Open running shop file will start the basic behavior with the command setup, command linup, and intentional test failure. And they ask the commonly used up by the SCI command and they use it. In the next video, we will tell into the structure of the test script in Bytes. Thank you for watching.